Cars no, this morning. <laughs> Let's get you right over to meteorologist Amy Freeze, who has a true scientific look at the weather, right? That's true. Good morning to both of you. You know, just a handful of weekends in a row, but when you say it like that, a handful doesn't sound as impressive, but so precious, the timing of these beautiful weather patterns happening over the weekend. And we get lucky once again. Starting off this morning, temperatures are a little brisk, a little cool. It's a sunny with a slight forecast no. coming up in just a few minutes, and we'll show this graph transition towards warmer conditions and then some real cold air coming in behind it all of all the details just a few minutes Phil Amy thank you so it looks like the ocean isn't the only place Californians can catch some waves it was so windy in the Sierra Nevada mountains this week that uh, folks were able to surf on Lake Tahoe that's oh. unbelievable of course uh, more than 6,000 feet above sea level it's not it's a lot colder than the beaches in LA but that didn't stop these people from diving in and surfing I mean why not incredible right? I got enough snow up there too yes absolutely absolutely um, Lake Tahoe's normally like, so serene right? you know, the waves is pretty incredible but the wind speed was high at 100 miles an hour so it has been oh. really impressive from Salt Lake City all the way back to the west coast uh, they've had really big problems with winds the Santa Ana winds and uh, different things like that happening this week so um, around here wow we can't even complain about a little mm -hmm. breeze right, right. Yeah. no not at all yeah. um, can't last all weekend long is the big question. It looks like we're going to be in store for another beautiful weekend. Our temperature is very seasonal today, getting warmer tomorrow, and yes, the 60s are back in the actual weather five-day forecast. Unbelievable. Let's get started right now. Outside. The door, 38 degrees currently at the park, and really over the last uh, 24 hours or so, we felt this sort of December wave of weather in our neighborhoods, but we will see a transition to more mild conditions and a return to 60 degrees, which is about 10 degrees above the average for this time of year. So here's how we'll get started. Lows across the area, sub-freezing for a and Poughkeepsie, White Plains at 32. Right now, Belmar at 32. Tom's River currently has 27 degrees. Out on Long Island, we're in the mid 30s to low 40s in Montauk. So, really, depending on where you are, the different geography across our area always represents the variety of temperatures that we can have this time of year. Under clear skies, the valleys get the coldest. Out on the tip of the island, things stay warm because of the ocean influence. But uh, this quick shot of cold air will affect everyone for the first half of the weekend. We're counting five straight fantastic weekends in a row. Nearly 60 by Monday. Tuesday, however, the rain is back, and then it looks like we get some real cold air, which has been locked up to the north. We look north of the border into Canada, and temperatures are in the single digits and sub-freezing and sub-zero temperatures. Eventually, that cold air will be spilled into the northern plains. Until then, we're getting the influence of this Midwest wave of warm air, and that's what will push in our direction over the next couple of days. So, quick shot of cold today, and then temperatures going back above the average for this time of year for the second half of the weekend. When do we get some rain around here? Well, that front is held off all weekend long. It looks like it's going to be very nice. Briefly brisk today with 48. Tomorrow, a milder mix of air in the mid-50s, but the front is still well off to the west. Doesn't get in here until Tuesday, so we're rain-free again this weekend. It's going to feel really nice, and if you've got the big honey-do list, like get the get the decorations out, do some things in the yard, get the rest of the leaves out of the, out of the way before winter. Temperatures are typically uh, right around 48 for after the door. Looking back at November, uh, 15 days, 59 degrees or warmer. That's half wow. the month we were at least 10 degrees uh, above average. And I'm sure people are stopping you on the street asking you what does that mean about the rest of the winter. Yeah. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Yes, it's just, it is hard to tell, connection. but I wrote a blog about it. So I'm going to seven online. You can read all about it. What does, uh, you know, the climate tell us about what the winter will do and some other factors. It's so. very interesting. Winter forecasting. Right. You can write for a living. Thank you. Amy, we're going to try to make our morning a little bit better. <laughs> brighter and she's the one who brought food for us right yeah absolutely but you know what they say phil everybody has their boiling point yes that's true that's true don't lose the car when it's cold exactly <laughs> good morning to the both of you as we get started outside clear skies in place and looks like it's going to be a pretty seasonal day check the numbers in that's too cool you go girl barbara says she got the idea after getting a few tickets of her own and decided to chip in to help her neighbors well she's now my favorite person yeah can you imagine? Because I've gotten tickets five, ten minutes after the meter has expired, mm -hmm. and someone like that could save you. What? That's an angel, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We've never gotten Those tickets, tickets have we? Of course not. not. Too. Please. <laughs> uh, I like her. I would contribute to support her. Yes. Her imagine endeavors. people send a roll of quarters. I'd send her a roll of quarters. I am in Absolutely. favor of her. Yes. The anti-parking meter yes. neighbor. I love it. <laughs> it's terrific. All right. My address is. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, we do have clear skies outside, so we'll wake up to a lot of sunshine. Uh, as the sun comes up, though. So it's still going to be very brisk, very chilly across the area. You'll need your jacket as we get started. But don't forget the sunglasses. It's going to be a nice one. Let's get you up to speed. Right now, looking for the Empire State Building towards the Chrysler Building. Wow, really, really dynamite uh, skyline this morning as we get going. Upper 30, then around.
around the city, which doesn't seem so bad. But once you get out of the city, away from the concrete and the place that hung on to the heat last night, they cruised guys in a lot of So temperatures were able to go freezing, even sub-freezing in some cases. So 38 degrees at the park, humidity at 68 percent, and the barometer is falling at this hour. We'll see a light north wind coming in throughout the day, and, and also this brisk air will help keep our temperatures seasonal for this time of year. So I think we're going to add about 10 to 12 degrees from the temperatures that you see on the map right now. Belmar at 30 degrees could make it into the mid-40s. Tom's River starting in the mid-20s. They could also go into the mid-40s. So there'll be exceptions to that rule, but for Central Park, I think upper 30s, upper 40s uh, will be our upper 30s are starting point, upper 40s are ending point for this afternoon out in Montauk right now, 41. So this cold shot comes in for the first half of the weekend, and then the second half of the weekend, we're back above the average for this time of year. Count it, it's five straight weekends in a row where our temperatures have been fairly seasonal or above average, and we've also been dry five weekends in a row. It's pretty good timing. Nearly 60 degrees by early next week, but the rain does not return until Tuesday. Where's all the cold air, and when will winter get here? Well, the cold air is locked up well to the north. Looks like it's going to be a while before we get really chilly air in here, at least until the middle of next week, uh, will we settle back into temperatures that are a little chilly for this time of year. Until then, we're going to get the influence of this very mild air coming in, and the storms hold off as well. This is the next front, but I tell you, it takes a long time to get here. Clear skies today, lots of sunshine, a few clouds coming in late tomorrow afternoon. Monday also looks cloudy, but this rain does not arrive until Tuesday. So we watch it on the future cast. Even by Monday morning, all we have is clouds around, uh, pretty much as far as the eye can see. And then Monday night to Tuesday, we'll start to see the showers returning into the forecast. Today, a high of 48 in the city. Many places seeing the upper 40s. Newark could peak at the 50 degree mark. Here's the forecast now. Brisk, so it's rain on Wednesday. So the middle part of the week next week, we're going to return till this to December weather, but until then it feels nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Before we go to break, let's take a look at